A congressional candidate in Illinois who came up just a tiny bit short in her primary in 2018 is getting back into the race. Marie Newman has launched a second bid for Illinois' third congressional seat. She is challenging incumbent Democratic Congressman Dan Lipinski, who is up for re-election. Newman lost to the seven-term incumbent in the 2018 primary by just over 2,000 votes. This time around, she's already outpacing Lipinski in fundraising and has picked up several big Democratic endorsements. Maria Newman joins us now via Skype to talk about her campaign and her hopes for the party. Marie, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, Marie. Tell us a little bit about why you're doing this, why you've decided to take on uh, the congressman again, and, and what you think this embodies about the new Democratic Party. You know, I think the district is just really simply looking for a real Democrat with a real plan. We've had 15 or 16 years of uh, kind of drifting uh, where the current sitting congressperson doesn't understand everybody's every day, uh, doesn't understand that there's a large income gap in this uh, nation and that the affordability of everybody's every day is a problem for 80 percent of the nation. So the reality is, is that um, we just need a real Democrat that acts like a real Democrat that has a plan and will get things done. And so people that so people understand, um, Congressman Lipinski ha is, has a fairly conservative voting right. He voted against the Affordable Care Act. Um, he considers himself pro-life. He's voted to defund health clinics that offer abortion services. He's voted to ban abortions at 20 weeks. He's only one of a very small number of pro-life Democratic congressmen. Um, do you think that there's room in the Democratic Party for pro-life politicians? I think there's room for everybody as long as you uh, vote within um, the platform and you are in alignment. One thing that I think is really critical and needs to be in the national discourse is um, you can be whatever you're going to be as long as you're representing your district accurately. Dan Lipinski happens to be dramatically out of alignment with his district. He voted against health care for all, Obamacare. He just recently, in the last several weeks, signed on to a Republican bill with all Republican uh, sponsors and co-sponsors, the HR 2672, that would take away Obamacare from uh, close to a million workers just because they don't meet meet that 40 hour a week threshold. Um, you know, so that, that's very significant in a district where um, we have a strong working families, workers, and middle class um, composition. So this is really about alignment in the district. It is nothing more than that. Um, we shouldn't, I, I don't believe in purity tests, looking tests, and, and it's of no uh, significance to me. What I know is that I'm in alignment with my district. I believe in health care for all, um, that we need to fix the income gap in this country, raise wages, paid leave, uh, universal child care, and making the affordability of everybody's life better. Marie, do you think that you can be a Democrat today and be pro-life? You know, that's not a question for me. I happen mm -hmm. to be pro-choice. I think that's a, a discussion. Again, I think it gets back to alignment, that you have to be in alignment with your district. Because honestly, the reason that I've had 95 meet and greets just in the last three months and then had 180 in my last campaign was because I have lots of data. We all have access to tons of data. We know what um, the district sentiments are. But until you have very granular, specific discussions in your district, one-on-one -on -one and in large groups, and plan and collaborate and uh, ideate um, together, you don't know what your district wants. And that's something that uh, Dan Lipinski is sorely lacking. He has one or two town halls a year that he invites his friends to and calls it a day. Um, that's not getting to know your district and hearing things you don't want to hear, quite honestly. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's alignment. It's not about um, you should be this or you should be that or we should have a test. Hmm. It is being in alignment with your district. How has the DCCC made it harder for you to succeed in this race? Yeah, uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we're, uh, here, I want to start by the good news is I think we've gotten up and beyond it now. Um, there's been a lot thrown at us, but because of the strength of this team and the district is 100% behind me, I'm running with the district, we're running as a team. Um, we've had uh, an amazing outpouring of support. So. Uh, going back to the policy, I, for the record, I don't agree with it. Um, the DCCC has set down a policy where uh, primary challengers cannot be serviced by um, any consultants that may or may not work with the DCCC. It's a very onerous um, policy. I think it's undemocratic. It inordinately affects candidates um, that are people of color or women uh, dramatically, um, and it'll keep people out. So I think that that is a 
uh, not only a horrible policy, it's a bad political policy, bad behavior in general, and it's bad business policy. Um, but the DCCC has to do what they have to do. I think we'll all come back together and dump Trump later. <laughs> so uh, right now we're having a temporary disagreement uh, that was incredibly expensive to my campaign. The good news is that um, uh, literally uh, thousands and thousands of people uh, chipped in three, five, and seven dollars to um, help compensate for all of those expenses, and we're kind of getting beyond it now. So we're we're rocking along. So, Marie, we know you've been endorsed by several people, including Senator Bernie Sanders. Is that who you're going to be supporting in this race? Is that your vision for America in 2020? So uh, three candidates have actually endorsed mm -hmm. us, um, and I am very excited about this field. This is an amazing field of um, candidates. We should be feel blessed and fortunate to have all of these different choices. I'm very excited to see the next round of debates and see where we're, we're going. So let's let's keep charging ahead. Let's give all of these rooms, a lot, all of these candidates, a lot of room to do their thing um, and figure out who's going to be our leader. Do you see AOC as an inspiration for what you're trying to pull off here? So um, her district's slightly different than mine. She did an amazing job. Let, let's be very clear. So did Ayanna. So did Ilhan. So did all of these new freshmen. Lauren Underwood in a purple district uh, pulled off an amazing thing. Sean Caston in the district next to me. Uh, my colleague uh, Betsy uh, Londrigan, who's running downstate, is um, is going after Rodney Davis again. I mean, there is inspiration everywhere. But yes, she did she did a great job. And look, I, I'm a best practice. I'm a former management consultant, so I love best practices. So anybody that has a good idea and it worked, I love that. Hmm. And Marie, do you think that there should be more primary challengers of Democratic incumbents? Do you think that's a fundamentally healthy thing for the party? So let's be clear, let's not just primary to primary. Let's primary when that individual um, sitting in that um, desk is not in alignment with their district. If they are not in the alignment with their district on most values, um, then in fact they should probably should be primary. But let's not just primary to primary. Let's make sure that they're out of alignment and that the people that are going to primary them are in alignment. Very interesting. Good luck to you, Marie. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us this Marie. morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Coming up, a father and daughter who drowned at the border. Now their home country is saying they are taking responsibility. We're also going to talk about AOC's border trip. And by the end of the month, there will probably be fewer Democratic candidates on the debate stage. Team Rising will predict who and who will fall away when Rising continues.